Facts First presents Man Raises Gorillas and After Six Years Apart, He Brings His New Wife to Meet Them Damien Aspinall is a multi-millionaire and a wildlife conservationist. He raised a gorilla. Six years later, it meets his wife, despite the warnings that she was walking too close. In fact, Damien took care of two gorillas from the time they were babies. Their names were Ima and Jalta, and Damien was the only caretaker they knew. They were too young and inexperienced to be out in the wild on their own, so Damien did everything he could to care for them. Finally, when the two gorillas were 12 years old, it was time for them to be released into the wild. They had the skills, the size, and the knowledge they needed to take care of themselves. Since Damien took care of the animals for 12 years, it broke his heart when it was time to finally let them go. The only solace he took in letting them go was that they would still have each other. Damien runs a foundation that works to protect wildlife. It's called the Aspinall Foundation. Over the years, he has worked with hundreds of gorillas who have been injured, neglected, even orphaned. He started his foundation so that he could make sure these amazing creatures received the care they so desperately needed. From the day Damien said goodbye to his gorilla friends, they were never far from his mind. He understood, though, that he had to keep living his life. A few years after saying goodbye to Ima and Jalta, Damien met the woman of his dreams – or should we say the gorilla his dreams? Just kidding. Her name was Victoria, and the two married shortly thereafter. When six years had passed since the two gorillas went back to the wild, Damien wanted to check on his gorilla friends. He also wanted them to meet his wife. Through his work with many gorillas over several years, he actually learned from them as much as they learned from him. He was able to bond with the gorillas in his care, especially Ima and Jalta. When he made the decision to go to the jungle to see the gorillas, he wanted to bring his new wife but he was a bit worried because these animals didn't know Victoria. Damien wasn't sure how they were going to react when he brought a stranger to their area. After thinking about how evolved and loving the gorillas were, though, he decided that he would take Victoria on the trip. To get to the dense jungle where Ima and Jalta lived, the couple had to travel on a river that was infested with crocodiles. Victoria, though, was a good sport about it. A trip like that would be enough to scare anybody. Since Victoria didn't have much experience with wild animals, the jungle, and crocodiles, she did pretty well during that trip to the jungle. As they got closer, Damien started to fear for not only Victoria's safety but for his own as well. Since he raised the two gorillas, he always forgot that they were actually wild animals. They may not be willing to accept people into their territory. Damien wasn't even sure if the monkeys he raised for the first 12 years of their life would even remember him. It's been six years since they saw him last. Gorillas are very large, very strong, and can be very aggressive. Damien and Victoria would need to approach them carefully if they were going to avoid an attack. When Damien finally found Ima and Jalta, they knew who he was. As soon as he approached, they both came over to show him love. And it wasn't long before they started to hug him. Although they welcomed him with open arms, he wasn't sure how they were going to feel about Victoria. She wasn't part of his life when he raised the gorillas, so they would have no idea who she was. Fortunately, to everyone's surprise, they also welcomed Victoria with open arms. They sat down beside her, they hugged her, and they patted her long blonde hair. Damien could not have been happier that his old friends accepted Victoria immediately. Victoria found the animals to be amazing, and she was so happy to have the chance to meet them. There are many people who think that the only animals who bond with humans would be dogs and cats. Well, Ima and Jalta, they're living proof that that's not true. Subscribe for more!